This whole announcement of emergency here, emergency there, stopping this gathering, stopping that gathering. In my view, on the surface, it will appear to the world that the president is acting to deal with uh, uh, you know, COVID-19 and so on. But the real intention is not to deal with COVID-19 at all. The real intention is to find space to put the pieces of the rigging equipment together so that by the time anybody could say Jack, the election had been compromised. But we have not made any secret from it that Electoral Commission is in cahoot with the sitting government and they want to manage and manipulate the election and keep the MPP in power through whatever means. We have not made uh, any secret about it. And everything that is emerging seems to be vindicating that position. You understand? So, one, um, what the real issues are, if you want to know the person who is defying or the body that is defying the present directive, it is the, uh, the NIA. National Identification Authority is the body that is defying the present directive. Because immediately the president issued the directive that we are not in normal times, we are in an emergency situation, all these gatherings must stop, church services stop, uh, Muslim worship stop, funerals and all that stop. Then NIA comes out with uh, a document contradicting what the president has said that they will continue with their activity and put forward what they thought to be, uh, they consider to be precautionary measures that will help them to, 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 to uh, limit the chances of the transmission of this thing. So it is an IA that is defined the president. And an IA is directly under the authority of the president. It's not like electoral commission, where you can say that the constitution says he can't do this, he can't. NIA is a state department that is directly under the president. So if the same government, one side is saying these are the directives, we are stopping everybody from operating. And the part of the, 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 the same state apparatus says we are operating in defiance of the president directives. What does it tell us? And this thing is happening right around the nose of the president because the NIA is doing registration in the eastern region as we speak now. So as I speak to you now, they are registering in the president's hometown. So if the president has cause to stop other people from engaging in their activities and cannot stop an activity that is happening under his own auspices, then he raises issues as to the credibility of the president in communicating to us as Ghanaians. So, so I was about to ask them, as a political party, how do you take this? Like, 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 how do you take that? No, no, no. You see, from where we sit and from what we know, all these are pieces of a jigsaw puzzle going to be put together to form the rigging machinery of the president. This whole announcement of emergency here, emergency there, stopping this gathering, stopping that gathering. In my view, on the surface, it will appear to the world that the president is acting to deal with uh, uh, you know, COVID-19 and so on. But the real intention is not to deal with COVID-19 at all. The real intention is to find space to put the pieces of the rigging equipment together so that by the time anybody could say Jack, the election had been compromised. Some will say that, oh, this is too far-fetched. But if you have the eyes, you will see. Let's take it that the president is seriously considering that we are in an emergency situation and that all hands must come on deck. And luckily, you have the support of the main opposition party. We are all on board, let's fight it. Let us look at the president's own activities. 
if a disease has been imported into a country, the first thing you need to do is contact tracing. Getting, rounding up people who have had contact with an infected person and those who have had contact with those who have had contact with the infected person and getting, rounding all of them up, getting them tested and quarantined so that you can ring fence the spread of the disease. Okay. What are we doing now? We say we have money. How many testing uh, kits do we have in this country? Next to nothing. The, the centers where people ought to be, uh, you know, admitted or quarantined and so on, how many of them across the country? And you can say that because this thing was detected in Ghana, the next person who must have contact with the person who had the disease must necessarily be here. People can drop from the plane and then that night travel to Boko or Bolga and we have porous borders and all that. You understand? Now, the brief the finance minister gave in parliament seems to be suggesting that government is now going to tap into some funding from outside and so on and so forth. Then you find out. So is the government prioritizing the COVID-19 above voter registration or behind voter registration? You and I know that when we're talking about this wasteful expenditure of 800 million Ghana cities, because we don't believe that there is anything wrong that ought to be corrected. They say they will go ahead. The, our development partners have indicated that they will not contribute a CD towards that wasteful expenditure of acquiring a new biometric system and changing register and so on. The president came out and said that we are going to finance it from our own resources. So it leads some of us to believe that we have the 800 million sitting there. If we have 800 million sitting there and we are waiting to use it to do uh, some exercise which half of the country believe is not of priority. And then there is an emergency coming up that is threatening to consume everybody. And that emergency, if not handled properly, can, can, can create a situation where we may not have uh, uh, the, the peace of mind to even do election. Because if everybody is sick or people are dying, who will go to elect? Anybody. And what will be the use of electing a president when the population is dying, when the people die? Who are you going to preside over? So, to any uh, you know, good leader, you should be able to prioritize the health of the nation above anything else. So if you have declared that we are in an emergency situation, you have other churches to cease, close down schools, done this, done this, done this, done this, and the money you need to contain the disease, you are now going to talk to development partners. When you are by your own admission, you have money sitting down for voter registration, you have money sitting down for this, you have money sitting down. So the actions of the president himself indicates that he does not believe that the coronavirus situation is an emergency situation.